What's up everybody, today we're going to be looking at the differences between the Kickflip 2 and the Kickflip 3. Now even though the Kickflip 3 is the newer version, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's an upgrade from the previous Kickflip. Each of these are going to have different features and it's up to you which of those features you want in your wallet. The front of these wallets are almost identical. They're each going to have seven card slots, a place for your pen, and one clear ID window. One thing the Kickflip 2 has that the 3 doesn't is this zip compartment behind the ID window. Now keep in mind, this is very narrow. So if there's something you need to keep in here, like maybe a work ID or social security cards, that zip compartment offers a little bit more security. Each kickflip has a wristlet strap. The one on the three is thinner and not removable, but the one on the two is removable. The kickflip three's wristlet strap also doubles as a zipper pull, but in order to have the wristlet strap attached on the kickflip two, you need to open the main zip compartment of the wallet and you'll find a D-ring inside. And when you have it attached, you won't be able to shut the zipper fully. Now, if you want to be able to shut that zipper, attach the wristlet strap to the D-ring on the back of the wallet where you would normally attach the crossbody strap. And if you want to lug hack your Kickflip 3 like one lug nut did, you can choose to permanently remove your wristlet strap and attach another strap from a different wallet to the same D-rings, which gives you even more versatility. When you don't want your D-rings to show, you can hide them in this pocket, and lug did make this pocket deep enough to double as another storage space. On the back of each kickflip, there is a zip compartment for change. And on the back of the kickflip 3, there is also an additional ID window, which is visible from the outside of the wallet, even when the zipper is closed. As we get into the main interior of each wallet, you'll see that there are still more differences. In the center of the Kickflip 3, there is a zip compartment which is clear, and at the center of the Kickflip 2, there is a small slip pocket. Both walls of the Kickflip 3 have eight card slots. Behind those card slots is a place for cash or a checkbook. You get six total card slots on the inside of the Kickflip 2. Behind those, you get a place for cash or a checkbook. And then on the opposite wall, you get a cargo pocket, which is stretchy. One side of the pocket is fleece lined for a cell phone. And while the Kickflip 3 could fit a cell phone, there is no designated area for one. All of the kickflips come with a crossbody strap and you attach it to the D-rings if you want to use it as a crossbody. So I know sometimes you guys ask how I use things and what I like better. I like them for different reasons. The Kickflip 3 is great as a wristlet for me because I don't plan on taking that strap off. But when I have the crossbody strap on, I find I still want to put my phone somewhere. But considering it has 10 more card slots than the Kickflip 2, it definitely has its purpose. I can put more cards in here. I can put an extra ID in here without having to open the wallet. Because there are two spaces behind the card slots in the Kickflip 3, I can carry my checkbook and I can carry my cash. In the Kickflip 2, my cash usually needs to find another place to go. But I love the Kickflip 2 as a crossbody because it feels like a true all-in-one. I can have my phone in there, I can have my hotel key in there and run down for breakfast without having to take my large bag with me. They're both good for different reasons. And since the filming of this video, Lug came out with another all-in-one wallet, so stay tuned for the Splits XL. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.